Hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir. Hey, my name is Brandon. I was the one who called. Yes, sir. Deputy Benzo, Los Angeles Sheriff's Office. So, uh, what's going on? Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, so, I have to admit, this one is a little bit new to me. So, um, I was actually trying to think about it over the phone, how to explain it, because it was very, very strange. And by the way, I, I have the footage from that camera that I'll show you in a minute. This guy came in, and wasn't wearing any clothes or he was wearing his underwear uh but he was like tidy whities that was it you know what i mean i i told him you know like you you either got to put on some clothes or you got to get out of the store and then he just starts uh very very aggressive uh he's saying things like why don't you come over here and make me and uh stuff like that and then he started doing some kind of weird dance I guess. I mean, I don't really know how to describe it, but he just, he was acting very strange. My guess, um, although obviously I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, was that he was under the influence of something. You know, I don't know if he was high or if he was drunk or what was going on there, but he was really, he was really out of it. Okay, and how long ago was this? This was about 10 minutes before you guys showed up. Do you mind me asking, sir, did he have a car or anything like that, or was this... Like, he came in on foot sort of thing that ran around. I didn't see a car. Uh, I assume he came in on foot. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, can you get a description for, for me real fast? I know underwear, but uh, <coughs> what, what race was he? White guy, black hair, black beard. Short on the sides, long on top, his hair. Uh, kind of like that gentleman standing over there, uh, but a little bit different. It wasn't me, though. No, sir. I was just saying that his hair was similar to yours. So you said black hair and black beard? Yes, sir. Okay, was he a medium build? Uh, thin, heavy? Uh, medium. Okay. Uh, kind of athletic, I would say. Okay. And if you don't mind, can I get your, uh, your name, sir? Yes, sir. It's uh, Brandon Gorski. Uh, the last name is spelled G-O-R-E-C-K-I. Okay, and that's pronounced Gorski? Yes, sir. All right. Um, okay, very good. And you said uh, those cameras are rolling the whole time? Yeah, yeah. I, I have the footage in the back I can show you. Yeah, if I can um, uh, take a look at that footage and then... Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Gorski, we're, we're quick. Uh, we need as much information, obviously, we can get. Um, did that guy have any tattoos or any, I don't know, body blemishes that's kind of kind of kind of popping or anything or i don't know what kind of underwear he was wearing like boxer shorts or regular jammies or what color that was so it looked like he was wearing white boxer briefs uh he didn't mm -hmm. have any tattoos or scars or blemishes or anything like that white boxers okay and you said he was leaving southbound from here my, that's my guess. Uh, he went. He actually went around the building, uh, but when he went around the building, he went that way. So that's mm -hmm. just my assumption that he went south. Okay, and he didn't have any vehicle that you saw or anything like that? He went on foot? Yeah, I didn't see a vehicle. I didn't even hear a vehicle. Okay, hey, Benzo, you, why, yes, don't, why, don't you, why don't you stay here and look at that CCTV stuff and give us more information if you discover anything on, on, uh, in sure. that? And we, and we both over here, we're going to go and uh, canvas the area. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Okay, I'll check it out. Thanks. All righty. And you've been here all day? Yes, sir. Okay. And do you happen to have a phone to the uh, store here if I can reach you just in case? Uh, if you want to reach me, it would be better to reach my cell phone because the yeah, phone here phone. is shared. Yeah, it's uh, whenever you're ready. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, 650 4548. Okay, Mr. Gorski. Very good. And if you have that uh, camera footage, I can take a look at that. Yeah. You, you want to come in the back and I'll show sure, you? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So,
Okay, very good, sir. I uh, appreciate that. And it uh, looks like we got a great description of him. And it did look like he was so, sort of heading southbound on Grape Seed. So we'll try to can we'll, yeah, we'll try to canvas the area a little bit. And then um yeah, it was a kind of a weird dance that he did. I don't understand. I mean, I was I've seen stuff like that before, but I've never seen somebody act that way towards me. I, I don't know odd. what's going on there, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to tell my wife when I get home. I'm going to tell uh, her yeah. this. She's going to think it's funny. Now, if it's... I see him again, do you want me to call back or? Uh, yeah, if you happen to see him, you know, call back. Uh, I mean, he wasn't, did he destroy anything in the, in the store at all? Or did he just walk in and do what he did and walk out? He uh, threw a bag of potato chips down, like when, when he was being aggressive, because okay. here, here, I'll show you. Okay. I had, I had to pick it up. And I swept it up, and it's in the trash can right here, uh, right next to the to the alcohol. You can see it. Like, yeah, yeah. He he like, so he was over there. He's looking at the potato chips, and you can see it. It's the same bag, and he just like yep. crunched it and put it on the ground. I don't know if the camera caught that part, but that's the only thing that he you know damaged. Which you know, one dollar bag of potato chips. I don't know if that's. The whole thing seemed kind of weird. To be honest, I didn't really know if calling the police was the best option, but, you know, I didn't know yeah. what else to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, if I had uh, seen somebody walk in like that and acting very unusual or like that, I mean, he may be a mental patient. We don't know yet. So, but we'll uh, we'll be sure to check it out and see if anything else comes up later today. If not, you know, then we'll just kind of ignore it for now. All righty, sir. Well, I, I really do appreciate it, Mr. Gorski, and we'll be uh, getting in contact with you if we need to, okay? Yes, sir. Have a good day, Deputy Benzo. Hey, you too. Thank you. Okay, Sergeant. Anything, I got anything updates, boys? Yeah. Uh, pretty good description. Uh, he just came through the front door there, and then he went back over there and made some weird, like, suggestions. Uh, nothing, like, extremely threatening, but... Just like a weird dancing type of thing, but yeah, just Caucasian male, medium build, uh, black hair, very short on the sides and beard, and just wearing uh, boxer briefs, white. And he did look like he was heading back that way. Okay. But other than that, that's all we got to go by. Yeah, the other unit and myself, we, I mean, I circled down till the the airfield, and then turned around and got onto North Kalitha Way, and always <laughs> also four down there but I, I didn't see anybody matching that description and that's kind of sticking out like wearing nothing but white brief oh, boxers yeah. yeah especially yeah. if he's on foot why not um did the gentleman over there um wish to trespass that individual from here if we meet him or yeah, that's actually a good question uh, mr gorski yes sir uh do you wish to um have him trespassed from uh from the actual ltd yeah, yeah, I don't want him coming in here anymore. Okay. All right. Very good. Then uh, we'll give you a call back if we need to. And then, uh, especially if we have him trespassed, I'll probably need to get you to sign something a little bit later, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. If you can just text me or call me, I'll I'll pick up. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, Mr. Gorski, I appreciate your, your assistance. Yes, sir. Look into it. Okay, thank thank you. you guys for coming out. Oh, you're welcome. Oh. There they are going to save the world <laughs> from somebody in their underwear. Hey man. Hey, you're gonna need to put on some clothes before I can let you shop in here. Hey, get back here with that shirt, man! What the f are you doing? Hey man, I'm glad you're here. How's it going, sir? How you doing? <laughs> Man, this dude... Uh, I don't even... Oh my gosh, I need a beer. This dude came in <laughs> in his underwear, took a shirt right off of the rack, then ran out of the store and put it on. Oh man, I, 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 told, I told the guy over the phone, I'm like, if this dude comes back, I'm gonna beat his ass, but... Uh, he, he, he hasn't shown back up, so... Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Did you mind me asking uh, uh, how he's like, like... Medium, large, slim. What kind of hair did he have? A beard? Uh, like that? yeah, black hair, black beard. Was a white dude wearing like all like 
white white ass boxers, dude. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. Uh you asked he he was a uh, he was kind of thin, I guess. Okay. I I guess he was built I would I would say like me. Uh he looks kind of like me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just obviously I'm assuming more full of a beard. Do my guess. Yeah, yeah, he had, he had a full fuller beard, kind of like yours, except his was a little bit more bushy. Okay. So so even more than yours, but it, it covered his entire face. You okay, d yeah. just came in. I don't even. I don't know. I was, I walked in. I said I said, what the hell is this guy doing? Like walking in here. I mean, well, it makes sense, you know, walk into a clothing store without any clothes. <laughs> I mean. I guess I guess that part makes sense. What what doesn't make sense to me is like why steal one shirt then run out of the store. I would have gladly sold him a shirt, but I told him like, hey, yeah. I told him, hey, you know, I told him you can't be in here when you're just wearing underwear. But if he wanted yeah. to buy a shirt, I would have sold it to him because obviously you don't have any clothes on. Uh, but that brings up the second question of if he stole just the pink shirt, why didn't he steal like pants too? You know, I have no because like as soon as he came in. I, w I was on him. I was like, dude, you gotta wear some clothes. And then he he just he he just took a shirt right off, like ripped it right off of the hanger and put and put it on, then ran out of the uh, of the store. Okay. And uh, would you mind me asking now what your name is, sir? John Shoop. Uh, last name is spelled S H U P E. S H U P E. Yeah, yeah, John Shoop. Okay. I mean, I, I don't, I just don't get, I've, I've seen everything now in this place. I'm going to move. <laughs> like, I get paid minimum wage and some, we got naked people coming in the store and stealing shirts. Y you know what, I, you know what I mean? I just, I, I think I need to do something else with my life. I mean, I wouldn't say that's entirely necessary, but I mean, it's entirely up to you. Well, I mean... I'm just talking, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I get So did he, he just stole the pink shirt and ran out, basically? Yeah, we got it on security footage, man. I can even show you if you want. Okay, uh, what direction did he head down the road? Did he go out, go right, did he go out left, did he go across the parking lot? He, he, ran, he, he ran right around the building, like like that way. So he ran around, probably left back inside of the building? Yeah, yeah, that's where he was. Okay. Did he say anything when he came in at all? No, or... he was dead silent. He just he just took a shirt and left. Okay. So chances are now we're looking for somebody who's wearing pink shirt and white boxers. Next thing we know, he's gonna be wearing a sombrero hat or something. It's good to know. Okay. Uh, you said you had CCTV in the store. Yeah, yeah, I can show you that. Yeah, if you could, that'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, uh, let me tell you what, let me sh just shoot it to you through my phone. Yeah, it turns out it might be the same guy we, uh, dealt with earlier. We're not the same guy, but it's the same guy who... It sounds like him. Earlier, so. Yeah, he does, it does sound like him. He's just getting clothing now, that, that's all this is. He's just finding more clothing. You're telling me this guy's done something before? Well, we think, to a, we uh, investigation. Yeah, we don't yes. know for sure, but... He okay. It sounds like it's a similar LTD. guy. Maybe what? not the same guy, but it sounds similar. What a weird dude. I mean, who the... Sorry. Uh... Yeah, but I, I sent it I sent it to uh, to both of you. It says it's... Alright. I'll go and take a look at that real quick. Okay, thank you. I'll take a look at that. Well, that was pretty straightforward. <laughs> Just came in, grabbed a shirt, and walked out. Yeah, just took. That's, that's, that's yep. about right. I guess the took the, the guy. first shirt he saw and just left. And it's the same guy. Like, like I was yeah, saying, same guy. I would have gave oh, him a shirt nice. if he would have asked. I wouldn't have gave him that shirt, like I said, because it's you know more expensive shirt. But I would have gave him a shirt off the dollar rackers because I do that all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that happen. You know, I get it. You know, I've been mostly uh, from a girl's house, but w without clothes before. And, you know, I need someone to give me a shirt sometimes. I get it. But, you know, I, I don't steal a shirt. Apparently this guy had other plans. 
Man, appear I don't know what. <laughs> I, I just this is the craziest thing I've ever seen working here. This this tops it. I mean, like, I, I woke up this morning and drank coffee, and next thing you know, I got cops at my store. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is it's just crazy how it works sometimes. Yeah, I guess he prefers uh, pink shirts. So yeah, I guess so. Next thing we know, he's gonna rob like a taco hut and steal some brew or something. If you catch him. Just, just tell tell him he can keep the shirt. I don't want the shirt back. I mean, if you can, I don't want him here no more. If you could, like, fill, I'll fill out a trespass order uh, if that's okay. something I can yeah. do. Okay. Yeah, we can certainly do that. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. And uh, do you have a contact ID, sir, Mr. Ship? Uh, yeah. You want, like, my phone number? or? Uh, yeah, if you have your, your cell phone or the store number, which would be better for you. All right, very good. Okay, then um, we'll uh, get in contact with you if we run into him again, if we need to. Otherwise, you know, we'll just uh, kind of patrol the area a little bit, see if we can locate this guy, pink shirt and white boxers. Do you, right. uh, I, I forgot to ask you, do you hear any sort of car or anything with that or do you come in on foot from what you were able to tell? No, he, he came in on, I saw him, I saw him, uh, he was walking like this way or on, on that sidewalk right there, and then he just walked in. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. very good. All right, I'll uh, talk to the uh, corporal back over here real fast. We'll make sure to get in contact with you, Mr. Shoop, if we have any more questions uh, or if uh, we need anything on? else from me or anything. Sure, just, yeah, just call me. Uh, uh, yeah, we will. No worries okay. about that. Cool, thank you. Thank you for cooperation, sir. We'll uh, uh, hopefully be able to find him. Yes, sir. <laughs> good, good luck. I mean, yeah, tell him he can keep the shirt. I don't want the shirt anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I get he, it. He can wear Especially it. if he stole it off the rack and started wearing it without washing. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want it back either. I wouldn't want it back either. <laughs> that's that's his jail shirt. He can, he can keep it's that shirt, except shirt. it's pink. It's not, it's, not, it's not orange, but it'll do. You can still see him. It, it'll work here, but here's yeah the sure. alrighty all right so, appreciate it sir we'll make sure good contact with you if we need anything else all right alrighty what sounds good just a shirt here yeah he just stole one shirt and then he left around the door and he left one more. okay so he's so he's still gonna be like half naked then i'm assuming yeah i would assume so unless he finds pants somewhere else like okay. like i said I know it was a joke, but I'm serious about that now. Like, he's probably going to go somewhere else and try to steal other clothing or something. That'd be my guess. Seems to be like going to every store he can and just being weird, I guess. It's the best way of describing it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a weird, kind of a weird thing, but, you know. Come and steal one shirt, not pants, not shoes, not nothing else. Just, just the yeah, shirt. Yeah. Just the shirt. And he wasn't violent about it. He just uh, no. grabbed the shirt and left. He just grabbed it and walked out. It's just overall kind of weird, so. Yeah. Now, next bus is going to be where he's going to show up next. Yeah. Guess we'll have to keep an eye out. Uh, I'll patrol yeah. around the area a little bit and see if I can locate this guy. And if I don't see him, then I guess I'll head back over to five. Yeah, Mr. Shoop said he ran out the front door here and ran around the left side of the building. There's also a CTV. So my All guess right. would probably be he's maybe somewhere in like the little alleyway somewhere. Or he's off towards the highway, but. Depending on how fast this guy goes, apparently on foot, he may be long gone by now. Yeah, yeah it's possible. We don't know yet. Okay. We'll find out. Just gotta look around and see if we see anything. Yeah, let's just circle the area, see what we can find. If we don't find yeah. him, we don't find him. But yeah, just yeah, just make a note of him. If we see him, we can contact him or make contact with him rather. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Yep. See you guys out there. Have a good day, guys. I'm 100% stealing that sombrero idea. That's genius. That completes the outfit totally. Just pink shirt, white boxers, and a sombrero. Oh, thanks, man. So I couldn't find a sombrero, but I did find a hat, at least. We're just going to walk around Polito until somebody notices us. There's a cop right there, look. He's going code 3, though. I don't think he'll notice me. Or I don't know if he will.
I think I think he he did notice. I think he's calling it in. Yep, yeah, there he goes. He's turning around. What do you want? Your hands, okay? Thank you. Hey, stop right there. What? I'm talking to you. Stop you. right there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, I was trying to go over his cop car. Oh crap! Oh, he got me! You're trying to punch God. me, motherfucker? Stay the fuck down. You son of a. You stay the fuck down. You, Show me your hands. You you. Show me face away from me. Show me your hands. Sam for six. One at gunpoint. Crap. That was quick. All right, on your knees. That was really fast. Down on your knees. I tried punching him too. Somebody got me covered. I got your back. All right, stay down, man. Don't move. Why are you chasing right. me, man? Why Put are you chasing me? Put your hands behind me? your back. Put your hands behind your back. Why the hell are you chasing me, dude? What's I'm wrong just with trying, you, man? I, I'm I'm just trying to talk to you and you take off yeah, from I, me. I, I don't I don't have to talk to you, dude. Okay, I'm gonna explain everything in a second to you. Just stand up for me. I don't have to explain anything to you, man. Why are you why are you chasing me, dude? Why, All right, you why got any, are you chasing you got anything me? on you that's why gonna poke me, stick me, me, hurt me, or any kind of way? I'm gonna beat your ass, dude. Why are you chasing so. me? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, dude, give me so, out these cuffs. Let's see who the big man really is. Uh, okay, cool. Um, what's, what's that What's that baggie here? What's that? I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Is that is that is that narcotic, sir? I don't know what you're talking about. And that last pipe on you, what's that? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I'm gonna Man, take you, you that can't from chase you random right people now. like that for no reason, dude. That's a good way to get your <laughs> beat real fast. Okay, there wasn't absolutely a reason behind that, so I need you to calm down for a second over here, okay? All right, you gonna you gonna try to hurt me one more time? You gonna, gonna have a hard time over here? Yeah, you you know what? You know what? I don't I don't think so, sir. You know what? I don't think so. Man, where are you taking me? I'm gonna take well, you in a me car. Go already. I'm go I'm gonna put you in a timeout zone. Man, you you All can't right. just be locking me up for oh, no oh, reason. Oh, I didn't oh, even do whose anything. Car is I didn't even whose do car anything. Is this? Deputy Benzo. I can't even I didn't even do anything, okay. dude. Why why All you right. got me in handcuffs, dude? You All deserve right. to hey, get your beat. You need to calm down, okay? And you need to shut up. You need to let me go, dude. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen if you behave like what, this. What's my name? What's my name? Okay. What's my you, name? You, you know what? What's my you know name? What you had? I'm gonna put you in the car. Okay? You have no idea who I am, and you're and, and you're and you're already chasing me and tackling me, man. Okay, the, you the have thing no is, you, you, took, you, you took off from me, sir. So yeah, I, did, I just I wanted to, to talk, talk to you. you. I can I can run away from you. That's not against the law. Okay. Do you want me to explain this to you, or you want to interrupt me? And I talk want you to me? let me go. Okay, that's not gonna happen right now. Why okay? not? You pulled. You, you literally pulled you, up to me for no reason. Yeah, no. We have a description out for somebody in white box shorts uh, was dancing in a uh, in a uh, gas station in Grapeseed not too long ago, and then. Uh, Commit a shoplifting here in Polito, also not too long ago, and stealing a pink shirt. And then I see you wandering down Great Ocean Highway in white boxer shorts and a pink shirt. And um, I just wanted to talk to you and, and ask what's going on because you matched that um, description of that suspect we have. All right, you want to know the truth? Oh, I'm all about the truth, though. Nothing's going on. Now let me go. Oh, okay. The thing is, um, when I searched you, when I when I when I uh, placed you in cuffs over there, I found this white substance uh, on you, and also an empty baggie with some residue that's on it. That's not mine. And and this that's glass not mine. pipe. That's I mean, not I mine. That's not mine. I I found it on you, none sir. Of, so... None of that is mine. Yeah, I mean, I found it on you. Sure. So you mean you, you placed you wanna, it on you, me? You you wanna? That didn't happen. 
So um, you you want He's to come clear about it and tell me what this is about is? I mean, I'm gonna find it anyways because I can I can run a field test on it and see what's going on. Man, I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what that stuff is, man. Okay, I'm gonna find it in a second. Well, just, then go do it. Leave me, a, minute, okay? well, leave me. Leave me. Go test your stuff so you can let me go because I'm getting tired of talking mm. to you because you look ugly. Oh, okay. Is there anything else you, you want to tell me about? Maybe, maybe my shoes are dirty or something like that? Man, you gotta stop- you gotta stop pulling up to people for no reason and just thinking because you're a big man and you got some black boots means that you can just start talking to people for no reason because that's a really good way to get your ass beat real quick. Yeah, my- my boots are actually gray, but that's fine, sir. I'm gonna get my vehicle real quick, thank you guys. Yeah, no problem. I think this is the guy that you're uh, you've been looking for. Yeah, he looks like he matches. I would like to see him without his hat, but I think I'm ninety nine percent sure that's him. Yeah. You want to take a photo of him uh, at some point if you want to take it down to the witness, so you know, or the person at the store if they, you know, they want to see the photograph. I mean, you know, they can ID him. Yeah. Yeah. I can hey. Do that. Uh... Yeah. Or if you want to take a photo too, that's fine. Yeah. Very good. I'm sure he's probably gonna get booked anyway. So I have plenty of time to take photos. Yep. Mm, hold on. Hey, you. Yes, sir. Can you let me go? I didn't do anything. Uh, no, sir. We cannot do that. What? Well, okay. How come that dude got to just pull up and start tackling me for no reason? Uh, because you match a description. Uh, someone who we've been looking for. Man, why you been looking for someone? Um, we'll have to explain that to you in just a minute. Here we go. All right, sir. Did you calm down just a bit right now? What do you want? Can we, can, can, can we, you let me can, go now? Can, can, can we talk like adults now? I didn't, or? I didn't do anything, man. Why do you have okay. me locked up so, here when I didn't even do anything? Okay, just... Let us start all over, okay? So my name is Sergeant Stelzer. I'm with the with the sheriff's office. What's your name? Why do I need to tell you my name? Let me go. Do you have that ID in your wallet you have with you? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna look up your your, your name and in, in, in your in your ID real quick. I'm, I don't have any problem with that. But I'm trying to work with you over here, okay? Man, you don't need my ID. You just need to let me go. All right, you know I what? haven't done I'm, anything I'm, wrong. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what? If you want to play that game, I can play that game. Give me a second over here. All right, Mr. Smith. Um, I need to listen for a second, okay? You have to write to man silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have to write to an attorney present doing any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney. One will be appointed to you. You understand those rights? Sure. Okay, with those rights in mind, you wish to continue to talk to me? Why am I going to jail? Um, as of right now, you are under arrest for possession of a con 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 controlled substance because uh, that white uh, substance and uh, the residue in that baggie and the residue in that, uh, in that glass pipe comes back positive for cocaine. Man, but that's not mine, dude. Why am I going to jail for that? I found that on you. I took that from you, sir. So. So it's yours I now. Got, so I you're got, going to f***ing jail? I, hey guys, I, I, guys, I, I, arrest I this got, guy. He's got cocaine, man. Get this dude. Sir, you gotta calm down just a little bit for us. Uh, do me a favor and close that door for me here, just for a second. All right. Uh, where's Patrick? Patrick. Hey. Is that guy matching the the description of that shoplifting call? Was he uh, on scene for that? You you're gonna have to ask uh, Benzo. He was. Yeah, I if I can if I can see him without his hat, is there any is there any yeah. way I can do that? Yeah, sure. Get him out of the car and take his hat off. Hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, because we can confirm with without Hello, the hat. Then hey, it's can you step on out just for a sec, please? Most nope. certainly going to be the shoplifting guy. And the I need to look at your. To I just need to see mm -hmm. if you have what type of hair you have. Yeah, this. Uh, okay, I'll this see guy, it. Thank though, you. He's got no priors, no nothing, nothing on his record, nothing. Not even. But pick, pick not John, the ID is matching and whatnot. Yeah, that that's him. Yeah, looks like him. Okay. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna take him take him down for that possession though. But let's 
let's let's see how he is uh, talking about that shoplifting thing. All right, M Mr. Smith. Yeah, what do you want? Okay, so um, where did you get that that that, uh, that polo shirt from? At your mother's house. Okay, and you did not uh, shoplift that from a store here in Polito? Nope. Okay, so uh, you got that from my mother's house, you said? Yep. So you recently uh, traveled to Germany, huh? If that's where she is, that's where I am. Oh, yeah, that makes totally sense, sir. <laughs> Wait, we're in Germany? <laughs> no, my, ma my, ma my, ma my mother lives in Germany, Patrick. <laughs> oh, oh no, but, but he said that's where I am, so I got a little confused. Yeah, I mean, you're not the only one over here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Ich, uh, ich bin ein Berliner or uh, die Forstein. <laughs> so, Mr. Smith, no. uh, did you did you just recently consume uh, some of that cocaine? I, I don't mean, know. I don't you, know what you're talking about, cop. You you, you definitely appear to be I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Get the hell away so, from me, man. Nah, that's not gonna happen because you, know what, you let do me go. understand that that you are under arrest, so that's not gonna happen. Man, just get away from me. Okay. I don't want to talk to you no more. Okay, you, you don't have to talk to me. Then but fucking leave. No, I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna get the hell I'm out gonna, of here. I don't want to talk to you no more. I'm gonna get you transported no to uh, the station over well, there. Well, then, then let's do that. There. Let's go to jail. Let's go to jail. Okay. Come on, slowpoke. Okay. Hey, uh, can you transport him for me to the station? I'm gonna meet you. Sure. Then. I can do that. Thank you. Okay. Would have guessed that he's not happy. Who would possibly have guessed? I love trash talking the cops, man. Like, if, if I had a choice between trash talking and getting arrested versus running and getting away, I would pick trash talking and getting arrested every single time. I'm seen with that shoplifting. Do we have any CCTV footage of that? Yes, we do. Myself, Benzo, and Patrick was there for the last bit. Um, uh... 